Hi friends, I'm back with a minis video. It's the minis challenge hosted by Corey from Crafted by Corey. I have five unspooky Halloween DIYs for you. Let's get started. For this DIY, I'll be using a mug wooden form from Dollar Tree, orange paint, white paint, a scrap of some candy corn fabric, and uh, some lightweight spackling to make some faux whip. So I would like to make a cute little candy corn themed mug. So I'm just gonna cover this. Uh, this is Folk Art Vivid Orange, a multi-surface paint. I'm just going to take a little bit of tape so that I have a straight line for my wording. And just write out candy corn. So for my faux up, I'm just gonna scoop out one little scoop with this craft stick and then take a little bit of this paint. I just wanna kind of thin out the spackling a bit and then I'll sprinkle in a little bit of glitter so I have just a bit of sparkle. Get this all mixed up. I'm gonna scoop this into just a regular sandwich bag, snip the tip of it off, push it down into the end and squeeze this onto my candy corn mug. Then I snip several of the candy corn images from my fabric and press them into my faux whip. And then once that sets up, I decide that because my wording isn't totally centered, I'm gonna cut out a few more of those candy corn and place them on the front side of the mug. And then I'll just hot glue a cube on the back so it stands up. Candy corn is one of my favorite fall time treats. I had to make a candy corn DIY for my tear tray. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Let me know what do you think of it. For great DIY inspiration, please check out Crafted by Corey. For this DIY, it's going to be more candy corn theme. I have a candy corn pick from Dollar Tree, a jar wind chime from uh, 4th of July, more of that candy corn fabric, white paint, uh, that same vivid orange from the first DIY, and then some bright yellow Craft Smart paint. So what I want to do is paint this jar in candy corn colors and then add all of my other embellishments with it. So I'll add this yellow, I'm gonna have to do it on the bottom and 
I'm gonna have to, I need to sand this off. ribbon with this and I think I'm going to take a piece of fabric kind of like a tie the bow tie so I have that and then I'll make my bow my actual bow just to give a little bit more candy corn look For this DIY, I have a do-it-yourself paint set, Sugar Skull from Dollar Tree, roses, and various colors of paint, including the paint that is included with these. And I'll use uh, some gemstone stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. I'm not going to paint the whole skull entirely, just some of the accent spots that um, are outlined and the teeth. I really tried to work with the paint that was included, but it was super watery and it was bleeding outside of the lines. So I just decided to use a bit of Craft Smart and Folk Art paint.
the base was looking a little bare so i'm gonna add one rose on each side of the skull and that'll be it For this DIY, I've got tumbling tower blocks, black apple barrel paint, and stencils. So this is going to be super simple. Going to take uh, seven tumbling tower blocks and glue them side to side. I'm choosing to turn mine this way so that they're vertical and then you'll end up with something like this so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this in my black matte paint and then we can move on to our stencil okay with this dry I'm just going to stuff just around the edges Once I finished scuffing the edges, I did a dry fit of my stencil letters and it was looking like I might not have enough space. So I pushed my B up just a little bit so I would make sure that both of the O's would fit. And I'm using just a plain Apple Barrel white acrylic matte paint to color in my letters. Super simple, cute, not too spooky piece to add to your tear tray. And for my last DIY, another super simple one. I'm gonna use tumbling tower blocks, black paint, bright green, and lime sorbet. Using tumbling tower blocks, you're gonna take eight of them. Two rows of four. Glue them together and then you'll have something that looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and mix uh, this bright green with the lime sorbet to give me the color green that I want because I want to make a little wooden Frankenstein face. And once the green dried, I just took some black matte apple barrel paint to add in his hair and I added in his facial features and a couple of scars. Then I added a couple of dots using the end of the paintbrush just to give him like a kind of a funny goofy look to his eyes and then gave him just a little bit of an eyelid.
And here are all of my fun, non-spooky Halloween DIYs on a small tear tray. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And don't forget, there is a playlist. I'll have a link to the playlist and Corey's channel in the description box. Have a blessed day.